Game Maker How to draw a player health bar onto the screen. Uh, and hopefully with a few more details and some other tutorials I've seen on YouTube about it. Uh, so it's a bit more flexible for your games. All right, let's get started with this. First of all, I already have a player. Let me show you what I've added into them. Player create. Here what I have is I have the player has hit points of 100. And I've given the player a variable called max hit points, right? Max HP, also at 100. So right now the player's at full hit points. Now just for testing purposes, I'm going to uh, just change their hit points actually to 50 so we can see if it's drawing out all right. Now the technique I'm going to use here, I'm going to draw a lot of rectangles. If you haven't watched the video called Health Bar Rectangle, you should really go and watch that one because I'm going to assume you've watched that one and know how the rectangle command works. Okay, here we go. I'm going to actually make an object dedicated to drawing the health bar. And this object is called Draw. Now you see Draw, nothing in here right now. Is it in the room? Yeah, I've already plugged it in the room there. So let's code up Draw. So I'm going to go to Event, Draw, Draw. Now, draw commands can only occur in the draw event. That's why I'm using this. And this object's going to be dedicated to, you know, drawing health bars and points and scores. So, let's go add some code. And here is my big chunk of code. Okay, so the draw object. Here's a few things I need to know, right? I need to know how wide this health bar is going to be. So, I'm going to call it bar width. Uh, let's say I want my health bar at the top of the screen to be, let's make this one really big. So let's make it like 400 pixels big. Now I also have to know the uh, maximum hit points and the hit points of the object I'm trying to draw. So what I can do here is I'm actually going to do two different questions. Uh, I'm going to ask the player object, let's just do this here, hit points. I'm going to set it to the player object's hit point variable. Max HP, I'm going to set it to the player's max HP variable. So this is all the stuff I need to know. Now, I am assuming that object player exists and that there's only one of them when I do this. I'll come back after and put the little code that says, uh, what if this uh, doesn't take place, right? Now, here's my drawing the rectangle. Draw, set, color. I'm actually going to draw the first bar is going to be the actual health of the player, and I'll draw this in yellow. Now let's actually draw the rectangle out. So draw a rectangle, and I'm going to do that same idea. I'm going to draw it somewhere uh, close to the top of the screen. So 10, 10. And I'm now going to draw how far the rectangle should draw to the side. Now I want it to uh, be a ratio, right? How many hit points the player has over the max hit points times how wide I would like this bar to be drawn. And then the actual height of the bar is going to be 10 plus. I won't make it too thick here. Let's just make it 20 comma, false, which means this will be a solid rectangle. Then let's draw the border for this thing. A little black border. I'm trying to type too fast here, making mistakes. 10, 10, 10 plus. Now this one has to go the full width. So no ratio here with the player's info, just add the bar width on, right? That's how far over to the side I'm going to go. And this one, 10 plus 20, and true, this is just an outline. Now let's put this into the room and see what happens. And I'll just show you one last thing I did. In the step event, I make the player's hit points slowly drop down. So we should see the bar changing. And there we go, it started off at 50, and it's slowly dropping down. Okay, perfect. Now you see, even though the math on this one may be a little tricky for some of you, 
it is a nice flexible system because if you decide you want that bar to be much bigger, you know, you can just make that, you can just switch that to 600 and you know, the code just works, right? Because it's doing it all with the math here. Okay, now the bar is much bigger. Now, we mentioned that this idea um, assumes that you have a player on the screen. If you ever destroy the player, this code will end up giving you an error. So one little thing you might decide to do is uh, something like this. These variables here are called local variables. They're just temporary. So uh, the draw object is just going to use them just for this one chunk of code. And then when this chunk of code's done, it's going to chuck them away. Notice I didn't set the values there because I'm going to do this. I'm going to ask a little question. If instance exists, O player, then HP equals the player HP. And maximum HP equals the player's maximum HP. Else, if the player doesn't exist, well, we can just say the HP is zero and max HP. doesn't really matter what you set it to. Uh, you could just put it to 100. It's still just going to be zero out of 100, so it's going to draw nothing. Now, this is nice because it takes care of the situation where the player may be deleted off the screen. But your health bar doesn't have to cause an error. And that's something you see left out in a lot of the tutorials, is when the player disappears, the health bar disappears, or the health bar causes an error. Okay, so this is actually sort of important to have in there. And then when this code is done running, these two variables are gone. Okay, until the next draw cycle. Then they're remade, and they get used again. So you can see here this will still work. And you have a nice stable health bar that you can pick up and position anywhere in the room you want. Hopefully that helps you out. Uh, the next video on this is monster health bar. It's just going to make the little addition that the health bar follows the monster around the screen, like you see in so many of those real-time strategy games, right? And uh, we may even do when the mouse hovers over the monster, the health bar pops up. So, Check that one out, Monster Health Bar. Thanks for watching.